Hello, my name's Bella, and today we're going to be reading My Mum's A Bug-Eyed Monster, which was written by Andy Rigdon, and the pictures were drawn by Jim Landon. Let's begin. Are you sitting comfortably? Now, come on, make sure you're comfortable and you've got your listening ears on. Let's begin. My Mum's A Bug-Eyed Monster with a bug-eyed monster's head. It's bigger than a pumpkin, and it's really rather red. My mum's a bug-eyed monster with arms that reach her knees. She's wider than a wardrobe and can pull up tiny trees. Some mums are small and dainty. Some mums tall and elegant. My mum stomps around the house like a baby elephant. When we go out shopping, people turn their heads and stare. They snigger at mum's curly tail and giggle at her hair. Sometimes this would annoy me. Sometimes it made me mad that people gawp at monsters and think all monsters bad. But I was never that upset until Harvey came to tea. My mum was wearing face cream. She was quite a sight to see. But what made Harvey jump, what caused him most surprise, were the large cucumber slices that were covering mum's eyes. Harvey was still shaking when he went home to bed. And though mum looked fine again, Thoughts raced around my head. If mum made Harvey shake and he saw her every week, when it came to sports day, would my whole class shriek? That night I lay awake and I worried in my bed. I imagined the reaction to my mum's bug-eyed monster head. I imagined my friends fainting. I saw mums turn and flee. I pictured my class teacher hiding halfway up a tree. So when the big day came, my heart was beating like a drum. When mum and I walked into school, my legs were wobbly and numb. But I had no need to fret. I had nothing much to fear. No one fainted when they saw us. No one turned to stare and leer. My mum was on the best of form. She had the mums entranced. She told them all funny stories and did a little dance. But it was when the races started that my mum would steal the show. She sparkled in the egg and spoon and dazzled in the welly throw. When it comes to welly throwing, the champion mums was Scylla's, but a lovely throwing action can't beat the arms like a gorilla's. My mum broke all the records on her very first attempt. And when she took a second turn, no one saw how far it went. My mum's a bug-eyed monster, but she can lob a welly. Her final throw went so far, it featured on the telly. The newsman told the story of how mum had won the race, of how the rocket boot became a Wellington in space. No one could believe it. They said it was a first. When they showed the welly orbiting the earth. When I went to school the next day, I was the center of attention. The, race, the races and the welly throw were all my friends could mention. Oh, I'd like a mum like yours, my friend Harvey said. I'd like a monster, monster for a mum with a cucumber on her head. I said, 
I'm sorry, Harvey. I know this will be a blow, but my mum's not for sharing and there's something you should know. My mum's a bug-eyed monster. She's a monster through and through. But that's just fine with me because I'm a monster too. We really, really hope you enjoyed the story. Why don't you go and grab a piece of paper and some pencils and draw your own monsters? Is your mum a bug-eyed monster?